good. Happy days. I'm excited because I am a huge fan. And I know I say that for a lot of our guests, Tandor. Mm. But I don't think, and this is bizarre, because people think, oh, who the hell is this guy? He says he knows this person. Says, yeah. You know? But not that I'm out there, you know, throwing it out. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, you can. No, but I don't, I'm not like, you know me. Yeah. I'm not like You're that. a humble guy. But when people are like, oh, so you know Tando Tavere, I'm like, like thinking I'm going to say, you know, no, I don't. I'm like, yes, we do, because we go way yeah. back. And I'll never forget the first day you arrived. Can I say the radio station? Yes, of course you can. Can I say 5 FM? 100%. Vic was on news. Yes, remember that? Vic has done very well. Big shout out to Vic Naidu. Um, I think he's down on the East he's Coast. He's on the East Coast now, yeah, yeah. Doing great things. And he started off as a newsreader. He's presenting now. Exactly. He's yeah. got his own show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so here's my story. He was on news. Roger Good was, it was the Roger Good show yeah. in the afternoons. You were on traffic. Mm -hmm. um, we all knew you were destined for big things. And I was doing my thing at sport, right? Yeah. And Roger comes to me after the first show and he goes, oh my God. I'm like, what? He's like... We have two shows within our <laughs> show. We have the Vic show and we have the Tando show. And I said, oh, listen, but let's enjoy the ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, because, and I'll never forget this, walking out those bloody security metal things we have to do, your mm -hmm. laptop. Good old SABC. Hey? Um, and I said, don't worry, Tando's not going to be with us long. Aww. Was rock. this on the first day? This was the first day. I, I, And it's easy to say now, and yeah. people are probably going to, oh, yeah, well, you say that now mm. because she's a rock star, which you are, and congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Seth. But I could see at that point that there was something about you and something about Vic, even though it took a little bit of time <laughs> <laughs> to get yeah. used to the intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Vic was hectic. But you guys, like... Yeah, we were inseparable. Yeah, it was cool, man. I mean, I don't know. For me, I walked into a space. It was the Roger Good Show. Yeah. Um... And I think it's important to respect that. Uh, I think for me, I was there to learn. Yeah. I was there to to see how this magician makes this magic. Absolutely. Uh, and I think it's important to walk into a space. I was. I. I, I mean, I was nowhere near Roger Good, um, and so I was. I was just eating up every moment from how to run a desk yeah. to you know the magic of how people don't know he'd pre-record a little snippet <laughs> and then play that hey, out. Not too many secrets, I'm not yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> But you know what I mean. Like you sit Absolutely. there and you just observe and yeah. you learn and I think it's being part of something that great yeah. that has allowed me to get here today. Listen, I, I, like I said, I can't say it enough. This show is about me talking to people who I think are amazing, who are my friends, oh. who are... Congratulations on uh, Newcastle making oh, you see. Um, the Champions All League. Right. You, you can stay. <laughs> Tando can stay. Steve, we need to mark that. That's going to be a real. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I'm now... Nice. You, you, you've just Do you gone. love me more? Absolutely. Lovely. I mean, it was up here. Yeah, you thought you were interviewing we me. We just gone straight to it. <laughs> it's funny. Because is it weird being interviewed? It is. When you're the one that... I mean, you... Uh, Firstly, congrats on the afternoon drive. Thank the you. Show. How's that going? You, Amazing. Are you enjoying it um, there? We're two years in. Um, I think primary... Two such, years? Yeah, it's been two years. It feels... I mean, I go to work. It doesn't feel like that's I'm amazing. at work. And that's what it should be. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Um... And yeah, I'm having a good time. It's a great environment that, um, like, I don't know, it fosters friendships. It, cool. it fosters, you know, relationships. So when we put on the mic and we're laughing, we're not pretending. We, we actually enjoy one another's company. People don't get that. Yeah. And, and I think that's why radio is such, and we'll get to your TV stuff. And yeah. We'll get to the other stuff. But people don't realize how sort of, how much of a drug radio is. It is. Because it is an adrenaline rush. 100%. You buzz. And then I remember like doing breakfast radio and then you half asleep and your coffee's not even working. Mm -hmm. the, the lights go on. Mm -hmm. Boom. And then you're on. You're on. Um, I think the most beautiful part is when you forget you're on. <laughs> because it, it happens when you're like so like into it, you forget that you're broadcasting to people. That's it. Which sometimes is a little bit dangerous because you end up saying things <laughs> like, oh my gosh, did I just say that? And you can't take it back. Sure. Um, and, and I mean, it's become, isn't it funny now that, you know, things get podcast. There's now videos of, you know, our radio shows. We previously, if you said something, that was maybe untoward, it was gone. Yeah. Unless like the BCCSA says yeah, something. A phone call. Yeah, then it's gone. It's like a more, it didn't happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> now we can't hide. No, you can't hide. Mm -mm. So so with that, with the because I've seen the studio, the setup's amazing. Um with the cameras though, you can't rock up in your PJs anymore. I mean, um, no, I think you, you can. I think the beauty of it being radio is that I expect you not to be done up like this. Sure, but every you're day. Tando, and I mean, no, don't man. people expect that? No, no, no. Listen, when, you're Insta when you pop anything on Instagram, it's like 50,000 people and it blows <laughs> up, and I'm like, 
that, there's an expectation no now. it's it's what you give people so if okay. you know like I mean I rock up to radio whatever I feel like so if I was filming in the day I'll sure. probably have a full face of makeup on radio yeah. but generally I don't have time to like spend an hour in my day putting on makeup every day it takes too much time um this radio journey that you're on yeah like, could you ever see yourself moving to to breakfast at one point because there is there is an argument that breakfast is flagship uh, drive is sort of they groom people to go breakfast yeah but at the same time like i think after two years you've created this amazing space and we all know how fluid the radio landscape can be at mm -hmm. time would you ever you know mine that? has been such a weird journey right because I mean, I remember getting drive time at five and it being like daunting. And I mean, I was I was there. I was there for five minutes. I think I did like every show for like one year and then it was like the next one and the next one. So personally, no, yeah. I don't I don't preempt that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm having fun um, on the drive show um, and I'm growing that space. It's only sure. been two years. Uh, I think Anel is doing a fantastic job uh, in the morning. And yes, Breakfast is a flagship show yeah, yeah. of any radio station um, followed by Drive. Uh, and I'm having fun. Also, I don't want to shorten my career. You know what I mean? No, I got like, you. So I got you. I'm still young. I got time. I'm chilled. I'm easy. Listen, happy birthday for the 19th. Thank you. 18th. Close. I mean, I'll forgive 18th. you. Yeah, yeah. But so here's my thing. Yeah. Did Google Wiki say 19? Wikipedia's got you at 19. Well, Google lies. I, well, we'll get to that just now. Um, look, I'm not here to cause whatever. <laughs> look, Anele, I love Anele. Mm -hmm. We had her on the show and she's so excited about the space that radio is in at the moment and same with Robert. Robert was like here and he's also on, on your station. Yep. And he goes, at the end of the day, his boss is not the CEO of Prime Media. Mm -hmm. His boss is the listener. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the numbers don't lie. So mm -hmm. if you're doing a rubbish job, you're not going to have listeners. No. But clearly, you're doing a good job. You're having fun. Yeah. Let the magic continue. No, having a, a fantastic time. So so this, this journey, let's go back to... Can I say your school that you went to? Yes. Because I pictured Daniel Bennett, the the former yes. referee, running around with a whistle in class. Did he do that? He so, did. He did. So he used to do like, <laughs> no jokes, the cone test. So at PE, he was my PE teacher. <laughs> okay. So we do like the cone test. Of, uh, uh. Um, I was also like a cross country athlete. Yeah. Um, and I was like, so we did like provincial stuff. So I'd be like one of the few students who spent a lot of time with him. We'd get on a bus and we'd go to God knows where to run God knows where. Did you enjoy it? I love I loved it. I loved cross country. Do you still run? I do run. Okay. Yeah, I crossfit as well. Wow. Well, I know I you mean, can't tell. No, no, no. <laughs> I bet you were, like when you rocked up here and you were dressed and I'm like, wow, okay. This is next level. So thanks. Thanks yes. very much. Really. <laughs> this is an interesting thing. And I was thinking about this the other day and I'm like, and maybe it's good that I'm asking you. So you post something on Instagram and it's your uh, underwear range, yes. right? And then am I am I allowed to like it or was that creepy? You know what I'm saying? Like Because there you are and you're in this <laughs> la lingerie and I'm like... What do you like friend. about it? No, I, I like the success that it's... That then you, like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like, as obviously as, you look amazing. No, as but, long as you know what your intentions but, were. But you know what I mean? People go like, oh, he liked that. Huh? You, know, you know what I'm saying? No, man. Say. No one is going to be like, oh, CS liked that. That's weird. But no. congratulations. Thank How's you. How's that business going? Amazing. Um, Tabudi's born from Tabudi. Um, let's, let's just yeah. that. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. That. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going great. Uh, we've got our flagship store in Danefern. We are in Edgar stores nationwide. Brilliant. Uh, we're online. So, yeah, it's, it's doing fantastic. I mean, the, this is incredible. Sorry, I interrupted you because I had Daniel Bennett with a whistle yes, in my yes, mind. Yes, yes, yes. And then I jumped to lunch. <laughs> to lingerie. And I, I jumped, so it's, it's weird train of thought. <laughs> yeah. But so, so back at school, did you, was broadcasting something? Mm -hmm. what, what were you, what was your? I was going to be an athlete. Okay. I wanted to be an athlete. So I wanted to be a runner. Um, but then, I mean, in primary, I mean, Daniel Bennett was primary school. So I think it was around grade seven okay. where I was just like, this seems interesting. Yeah. I think we did like a play and I was like, oh, I like this. And then I got to high school and that's sort of where, you know, the arts came into my life. Well, clearly it's meant to be. Yes. Because, I mean... Everyone here has you arrived. So there's quite a few bit of stuff we do for net, Netflix. Yeah. Uh, well, not me, but um, the, the guys in the edit suites and post-production here. They're all like, Tando, Tando, Tando. And they're all talking about the show that you were yes. on. And it was like, oh, okay, I, I worked on that. I was, <laughs> you know how it is. But how are you enjoying that acting space now that oh. it's, it's, 
I get the feeling that that's almost your escape and radio is your fun. It will... Um, how would you no, describe that? They, I think I think they different things at different times. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, it's like it's like having two boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, this is nice for today. I'll try some of that tomorrow. Um, but no, I mean acting is where it all began. Yeah. Radio sort of happened to me. That radio was never part of the plan. Like I had. But you're such a natural. Thank seriously. you. Yeah. I had I had no ambitions. Um, really? to be in radio zero. So before the five thing. So I, I mean, because five was kind of like I know that there was stuff beforehand. Yeah. But the five thing for me was when people started in the radio sort of space started yeah. to realize there was a new rising star. Um. Well, I mean, look, before five was why, yeah. right? Um. But before why, but the audiences are so different. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. I went from the black market to the white market. Pretty much. <laughs> um. So I mean, started at UJFM, yeah. and the only reason I did that was because I thought maybe if I get into radio, I'll land like an acting gig, literally. That's how I started on radio. I maintain campus radio is where you need to start. Yeah, yeah. If you can, yeah. or community radio, yeah. absolutely. The thing about radio is you have to do your hours. You can't cheat it. Oh, my goodness. Pray. Oh, that is amazing. Preach, <laughs> preach. You can't cheat it. There's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts oh. around it. It's, you have to do the time. Um, so, yeah, what, what was the question again? I started at UJ, ended up at Y. But then why is huge? Five. All due respect, why? Hundred percent. I mean, why at the time was was big. I mean, it was the times of Dino Ranaka, who I was like my radio, yeah. still is my like radio idol. Um, and she, yeah, I think it was her that propelled me sort of in the in the direction that I've I've ended up going. Yeah, I think because it was almost like I don't know. Like I said, after day one, I was I was convinced. I was like, this young lady is gonna Thank gonna you. go well. Thanks. And. Um, for me, I think radio also teaches you lessons that apply to the other space and mm. the acting space. If it's for me, it's presenting on on TV. It's the same with acting because and and radio plays such a big part. It's actually intertwined. I know it's, you said it's it's, too it's no it's no no it's it's very intertwined. Yeah. I think um, I I don't know. For me, being an actress makes me a better radio presenter yeah. because radio is the theater of the mind. Absolutely, and you create whatever scenario, and you can talk something up or make it more dramatic, and people take it for for what you say it is. Absolutely, and it and and acting teaches you how to say things the way you want yeah. it to come out. So the two are actually very close knit. I think closer knit than people think. Do you enjoy that sort of? acting space where you can become another character and and how can I say just have fun in that space and adopt like I think for a lot of actors they enjoy being able to leave the tundle that's sitting in front yeah. of me here behind and become a villain or yes. the sweetheart yeah, or yeah. do you have like a particular sort of character you enjoy playing the most is there something is, is it do you like I mean, being the bad guy or uh, do you want to be the sweetheart uh, I've, I have I played the bad guy? I'm I don't think I've played. I don't think you have. I don't think I've played the bad guy. I'm always. I think you'd make a good bad me guy. Me too. Yeah. I want to like Get kill some people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you on know? the show, acting. Yes, on the show, acting. not in real life. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've played the sweetheart. You have. I've played the girl in distress who you. Uh, one of my favorite roles, housekeepers, where like my character's mother dies and I I go out trying to find sort of a villain. Yeah. She's like a, a Robin Hood. You know, she's she kills but for good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as you, I suppose, uh, in a way, I was going to say um, robs for the rich. To yeah, pay, no, I, the, no, but, no, okay, no, 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 anyway, no. Yeah. yeah, okay, bad example. Yeah, but you get the idea. I got you, um, I got you. Yeah, I, I guess it is a form of uh, it's storytelling. Yeah. Uh, it's also Maybe being you've hit able the nail on the head storytelling. Yeah, and and sorry to interrupt you. I apologize, but. Th that's why I say that it's that golden thread, mm -hmm. isn't it? And it's it, the same and it, thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, even when you, uh, the difference with radio is, people won't resonate with things unless it's truthful. Yeah. Uh, but I guess it's the same with acting, right? Unless you're acting from a place of truth, no one will believe you. No, you're right. So, like I said, exactly the same thing. So when you hear of actors um, who become like they be the method actors and they study, you know. What's your approach to a role? Do you sort of go into, 
acting that role beforehand and the family is like, what's up with Tando? Or, no. Or, or is it a case no, of no, like, no. you can switch it on and off type thing? Um, it's, uh, you can't always switch it on and yeah, off. Yeah. You try to, in your mind, you think you are. There's some, I mean, that housekeeper's role I spoke of was very traumatic for me. It was like, I remember crying for like days. Really? But like offsets. I'm in my house and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why am I crying? Um, but so emotional. I mean, you're yeah, draining I, a little bit. Correct. And, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. the trick is to fall in love with the character that you're playing um, and, and, and be them, like intrinsically yeah. be the person that you are portraying. Because like I said, people can read between. Can uh, you swear here? It's a podcast. Of course you can. The bullshit. Yeah, you can drop it. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's so true. And, and like you, you, you're saying so many things that resonate with me just – from a putting time and you've earned your stripes. You you you're one of the the queens of the South African broadcasting space at the moment. Thank let's you. be honest. Entrepreneur. I, 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 so, t- yeah. I love this. I'm just saying. Playwright is on here. There's Forbes, so one of Africa's 30 under 30. Uh, Nivea's first brand ambassador in Africa. Uh, Tundle Bears All. I mean, uh, and then. From there, you suddenly, when I Googled you, obviously I have to do a little bit of yeah, research yeah. Uh, to look professional. Uh-huh. Um, all these top stories start coming up. <laughs> I, and I don't know what's off limits here, but I'm like, here's one. Mm-hmm. Tweeps react to Tando's pregnancy pics as they go viral. That I was, was so that shocked. Was two days ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I'm, I am look nine months pregnant there. I was shocked. You look great, by the way. Thank you so much. Say. Am I carrying well? <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, for nine months, you're amazing. Like, there's no doubt. This person doesn't even look like you. Shame. You know what? At first glimpse, like if you look once. Yeah. Okay. Quick If you glimpse. look once. But then what I don't like is the clickbaits, right? Oh, uh, okay. I got you. You know, it, it's not my picks. Also, it's not fair on her. It's her moments. Absolutely. She's like carrying a child, guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's it's like, uh, but I'm saying, do you? Ever, I mean, here you and Robert Morrow are dating, by the way. Mm. Um, but let's get on to a bigger, better news because that's all absolute nonsense. Tundle to Bed Escorts role in American hit series. Yes. Tell us a bit more. That's amazing. So it's an animation called uh, My Dad, the Bounty Hunter. Uh, they've had one season already. I think it premiered beginning of the year. Brilliant. So this new season um, premieres in August. Uh, and yeah, I had so much fun. Like you stand behind a booth and you are a cartoon character. That's amazing. And it's the dopest stuff. And like the girl I play, Aja, she's like a badass. So, so she's like cool. fighting off all then. But I'm in outer space. So it's like recording behind the, the booth. But you're going, ah, ah, yeah, yeah. Get away from them. <laughs> and then and then they put yeah, the cartoon. Like <laughs> yeah. And then, then they put like the cartoon to the voice. And then it's like, wow, it's mind blowing. That's dream come true yeah. stuff. Yeah. Eh? Like that's, well yeah. done, man. That's Im- amazing. Imagine telling my kids when I am one day pregnant <laughs> that, uh, you know, we did Listen, something that dope. Any, any day now that you pop, apparently. This is true. According to the press. They'll make it just in time for the <laughs> premiere. <laughs> August 17th, it's out. You can't miss that. Yeah. So that's amazing. Housekeepers, though... How has that changed your life? Because I think a lot of people looked at housekeepers and went like, damn, you know, like, and not that, and it's not that Tundra's arrived because you've mm. arrived a long time ago, but I think housekeepers was one of those sort of roles or shows that you just maybe reaffirmed yourself or cemented yourself. And, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? I think the roles I played before were like the pretty girl who was the damsel in distress or like in a relationship and yeah, she's yeah. trying to find love. This role was was different. It's yeah. like we stripped off all the makeup. And uh, I mean, I auditioned about six times. For real? Yeah. yeah. At, like at some point I told Portia, <laughs> you're going to have to pay me now just to arrive <laughs> because Time is money. it's a lot. <laughs> also petrol. Do you know the price of petrol? Um, and yeah, so I mean, I was stoked that she entrusted me w- with, with that role and... Yeah, I guess it's it sort of changed the perception of um, the sort of scope of work I'm able to yeah. do, and I, and I think in, to a certain extent also breaking out into it, a, like showing off your skills. Yeah, if, if that makes any sense, because yeah. it's easy to typecast someone. Pretty, Correct. Pretty girl. Oh no, she's the damsel in distress. Correct. That sort of thing. Yeah. But here you come. It's a dream role. You've knocked it's, it out. It's the a park. dream role. Um, it's it's one of those roles that come once in a lifetime. Do you think ever you'll have to choose between acting and 
Ooh, I hope radio. not. I hope not either. But I hope not. Um, what radio has afforded me is the opportunity to choose my roles. What about you? Right. So I'm now. I'm not. I'm not acting for the money. Yeah. I'm acting because it's what I love to do. Sure. And I'm able to choose which roles I want to do. And, I mean, we've had frank conversations at Prime Media about, you know, how I feel about that space and what my, cool. you know, future and my ambitions are. So we we all in the same, so we're having the same sort of conversation. Oh, well, well, there we go. That's yeah, already yeah. a winning formula. 100%. Um, I, and speaking about this, whenever I see someone who does a reality TV show, and we've had a, a few South African celebrities mm -hmm. do them, but I, I happened across your one the other day, um, and forgive me, I just sort of picked it up because I actually didn't realize at the time that you were doing it. Yeah. And there's Tundle, and she's having a conversation with her mom, and I'm like, whoa, like this is, you know, this is happening. So I sat down and I was watching it, and I was like thinking about it to myself, like where do you draw the line in terms of that privacy thing? Because everyone wants a piece of, of Tundle. I mean... Half the staff here, are just, <laughs> they're still outside the door. I think. You're gonna you're gonna be out here for half an hour with photos. Uh, but, but look, first of all, my mom had the time of her life. She was just like, oh, this is fantastic. She's a, she yeah. loved it. She loved it. I can see where she gets she you. Was, uh, <laughs> like, she, she was so sad when we wrapped. She was like, oh no, is it over? I'm like, yes, mom, it's done. I want another season. No, no, mother. Get your own show. We do the spin-off. Um, yeah, it's 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 a difficult balance to yeah. strike. Um, what I was intentional about was I was not going to create a reality show where I am fighting for the sake of creating entertainment sure. or causing drama. Or I mean, generally in my life, the people around me don't cause drama. We uplift one another. We support one another. That's and. Great. If that's not entertaining enough, then I'm so sorry. But that's my real life. Um, so what we saw there was that, I mean, that was the real Tundal. That was 100% Yes, 100% that, that was there. me. Uh, I mean, there are certain areas in my life that I'm not willing to share. Absolutely. Um, which I think is fair. We're all given, Absolutely. you know. But uh, for the most part, I, I mean, I treated this as a memoir yeah. more than anything. It was, you know, I spoke about my late brother. Um, you know, it was just the, the journey of Tabooties, how I handled the radio versus the acting. So it was just a look into how I do the work I got you. that I do. So people now realize that you don't just rock up. No. There's, there's graft here. Yeah. yeah. And when it goes to building a business, your production company, 100%. all these other things, it's blood, sweat and tears out there. Yeah. I mean, also with this reality, it's the first show I've ever executive produced, which was really exciting. That's cool. um, it also meant I was able to sort of sift through what I was comfortable with showing and what I wasn't. Um, and yeah, it's the beginning of hopefully many a shows. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so no more done. The reality show done like as it is in this current thing for you? Um, never say never. Oh, well, true. Absolutely. You never mm -hmm. know. Uh, we're not gonna, yeah, you don't have to give your secrets away here. Um, I wanted to find out just uh, in, in terms of that sort of that reality TV space, like was it difficult? I know you executive produced the show, mm. but was it difficult having the cameras around all the time? Or is it because you're kind of so used to if it's, several cameras on set or if it's cameras in a radio studio yeah. or whatever it may it's be. It's very different. It's okay. very different. So I'm used to like a script being given to me sure. and like these are your lines and <laughs> you know what the next person's going to say. Right. Now it's like, okay, we are at the office. Um, you're talking about the new Tabooties range. Go. Okay. <laughs> 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 so I, I mean hats off to the yeah. reality show guys like yeah just, but then you can see why they create the drama correct you know correct um, where they throw things at each other yeah. and they punch Scotty one another said that and you, all how that. dare you do that <laughs> I'm like no you gotta keep it classy absolutely um, Tando you must be you must be incredibly chuffed with how your career's progressed you know like for someone, and, and I loved what you said earlier on, you have to do the time. Yeah. You cannot be someone who's just, look, there are the exceptions that get plucked and they flourish, mm -hmm. but those people tend to be people who are willing to graft mm -hmm. to keep that space. As someone who's risen as high as you have, like, what's the next sort of level? You know what I'm saying? Because South Africa with all due respect, remains still a, a, a smallish space. And I know the movies and everything else becomes global because yeah. of the streaming platforms. But 
what's the next thing for you? You said the production company. Yeah. And so, I mean, is it about dominating the space even more? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I think it's about equity. Okay. And ownership. Sure. Um, I think most of my life, like I said, housekeepers was a role you dream of. I'm not going to wait for that anymore. Absolutely. I'm going to create it. Okay. Um, so that's the next step. And we're creating it for the world. Amazing. So world domination. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And so also, I suppose with your success, you then empower other people. 100%. Right? And you spoke about something which was, it's very dear to me, is I have a very small circle of trust. Mm. Keeping people around you who can also call you out on your nonsense, yes. but at the same time are there for you when you need them the most. Yeah. Tell us a bit more about that. I mean, obviously, um, you have people that, that keep you going, that keep you motivated, keep you hungry. But there are also people that are just there to like, it's okay, kick back. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, all of my friends are friends from like high school, from university. Um, and it's we support one another. But mm -hmm. like you said, if like I mess up, they'll be like, no, girl, that was not cool. Yeah. You know, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have said that. And it's important. You can't have yes men around yeah. you that just agree with... It. Your friends can't... I mean, they can be your fans, but they can't worship you. You know what I mean? Sure. They can be a fan of your work, yeah. but they need to be able to distinguish... Uh, not that there is a difference between Tando that you see and Tando that they yeah. see. Um, but it's people who support you, but people who also uplift you, people who uh, are able to bring you back once you go astray. Yeah. Are they also the people that will look at your social media and say uh, that that wasn't a clever move or that was... I mean, I generally don't do like weird stuff on social media. No, no I know that. But, but you know what I'm trying to say? It's someone who has the exposure in the platform that you have. Mm. The moment you send a tweet or a, a post on Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is mm -hmm. or TikTok, you know <laughs> that there's going to get attention. Yeah. So sometimes... <laughs> sometimes yeah, that's, sometimes, that's why you, you just need, don't tweet. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> But how do you deal with that? Because I'm sure you must get DMs all the time. People, you, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, well, when you have 50,000 likes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's next level. Um, I don't know. I don't think about it that way. Okay. Like for me, like if I want to tweet something, lots of, like a lot of the stuff I tweet about is my work. Sure. Um, I seldom post anything that is like personal got you like if it's a cute photo i'll post it on instagram but that's about it i just did a squat of the 200 kg yeah so i love doing the the gym stuff the gym stuff yeah. is fun to do but also you you portraying uh, an individual who cares about health and wellness and I don't even, being it's healthy. not even that far not even that no it's okay. just I, i'm at the gym i think yeah, I you know this. i'm pretty chuffed <laughs> at myself because i did a i don't know a back squat of 50 yeah, yeah. kilograms and i want you guys to see it so this crossfit journey you're enjoying it yeah i'm loving crossfit that's amazing yeah so, so tell me um how long you been doing it now um on and off <laughs> okay yeah it's yeah. a commitment yeah, yeah oh no it's death <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah. It's proper death. Um, about four years. Okay. Four years on and off. It's for me the my sort of brief experience with it was just the community vibes. Yes. And like, you know, when you go to gym and you have to think about what you have to do at the gym. Mm -mm, it's too much. I'm like, oh, oh, oh no, this song's not working for Correct. me. You know what I mean? You spend most of your time on your phone. You rock up there and they're like, there's the workout. Yeah. And also everyone's doing it around you. Yeah. And you don't want to be the idiot that's like not doing it. <laughs> so you're gonna do it. It's another it's another world. Yeah, uh, we we oh no, I won't I won't say where you're training. You want to give them a shout out? The um, boxer shout out. Yeah, CrossFit's um, Cedar. Okay, excellent. Yeah, okay. no, that's cool. Just give them some mm -hmm. love, you know. No, they're amazing. Shout out. Uh, Tanda will be there tomorrow at eight a.m. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's interesting. So, how do you perceive yourself out in the in the public image? I know you're a girl from Joburg who's um, worked her socks off to get where she is yeah. today. And you're fierce when it comes to competing in that space mm -hmm. and you want all the success. Um, but how do you see yourself out there? Because just I just Googled you quickly. Firstly, they messed up your birthday. Hopefully yes. they, fix, they fix it Can up. They fix that. But all of a sudden there's like just media reports and it's constantly how do, how do you see yourself out there? You know what? This stuff comes and goes. I know what the what my truths of are. Course. Uh, the people around me know what my truths are, and that's what matters. Like, if I were to, like, focus on what people are saying, I'd, I'd literally lose my mind. Yeah. Like, you go mad. But that's why I say it's everywhere. Yeah, it, yeah. Is it, does it get a lot of noise at times? Yeah, like, now it's very loud. <laughs> it's very loud. 
Um, but you you know what? It's fine. Whatever. You know that saying, uh, no exposure is bad exposure or whatever No, you say. no, no, no. I'm not that girl. No, no. I, no. I want to like t- talk about my work. And what's funny is the reports that are gossipy will get more traction than like an it's international clickbait. animation. I was going to say, like, yeah, that's yeah. the news, That's people. the news, guys. Absolutely. Not 17 August. Tando exactly. is, is playing a squirrel. Correct. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not a squirrel, but, but, but you know what that I mean. is the news. Exactly. Like, why are we focusing sure. on my love life? Or, or does it bother you though? Um, sometimes. Listen, being a rock star comes with with all of the noise. Yeah, but it, it's all, yeah. I guess it's, it comes with the territory. Yeah, yeah. And and in terms of your your love life and that sort of thing, you've been quite private about it. Even when I remember back in the day, yeah. Whoever enters that love life space, do they are they aware of what comes with dating you, being part of that there's eyes, spotlights on you wherever you go. You walk into the mall, wherever it is, might be Mall of Africa. Come on. <laughs> People like you know what I'm saying. You mean right now? Yeah, I'm just saying in general. Um it depends. Yeah, I guess. You know what I'm trying to say? Like because a lot of people uh partners prefer to be completely out of the spotlight. Mm-hmm. Um you know, they they do their thing, they support, and then they come into that circle of, of trust and mm. they stay there and that's your private time. When you're out in the spotlight doing your thing, that person remains a mm-hmm. supporter of your work, mm-hmm. but they understand also that there's a lot of attention that comes with that. Yeah, I guess you sort of know what you're signing yourself up for, right? You, yeah. you, know, you know what it is. So you're not going to be like, oh, I'm not going out with her. <laughs> no, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, what what are you looking for? Because there's pressure that comes with being who you are at the same time, and almost yeah. a responsibility now because you've evolved into the superstar. Mm. Now you you're royalty. I mean, I'm like. So yes, I, I think I, I need to I record you. this so that every morning when I wake up, I can just play it back. <laughs> Anytime, I'll send you the link. Um, but you know what I'm trying to say, like. I just think you've, you've got a heart of gold. Thank you're, just, you. you're just a wonderful human being. And, and I think you deserve to have someone who reciprocates that. And, and I, that goes for probably most people out yes. there. I think everyone deserves love. Just because love. you're a celebrity doesn't mean that the rules change. No, everyone deserves love. And if you give love, you should receive it back. You know? And respect and, you know, to be taken care of and to be supported um, and to be kind. I think Absolutely. kindness is a very important thing for me. There's not enough kindness in this Mm-mm. world and it's very depressing at times with yeah. what's going on outside. Yeah. But that's why I was saying, like, for me, the show is about connecting with real people, people who are, you know, you don't have to, we can talk about whatever you, we can talk about Newcastle making Champions yes, League. Yes, how amazing. Right? You know, but, <laughs> but I'm saying, like, at the same time, I want you to be able to tell your story. What, yeah. what motivates you in the morning? You said you wish I had a recording of me going, hey, <laughs> but... um. What motivates you in the morning? I don't know. Sometimes I think it's a little bit of madness. I've got just like a tenacity about me. Yeah. Um, I enjoy to work. Yes. Like I could, I enjoy working. So I love um, working for my money. Um, I love putting in work and seeing results. Um, I like not taking shortcuts. I like taking the scenic route. Okay. And then, I don't know, seeing what, you know, fruits it bears. Um, it's worked for me so far. Um, and it, I, I can't describe it, and, and I get that question a lot. But it's like it's it's almost a it's a feeling. Yeah, it's a feeling where you wake up and it's like every day is an opportunity to do something, absolutely, something new, achieve something new. Look, I think that's exactly it. And I think that sort of people, those people who are born with that inner drive, yeah, you one of them. I'm absolutely one of them. Hundred percent. I wake up in the morning and I'm like. Let's get them. Absolutely. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah. You know, um, and that must never change because when that fire goes out, mm. that's the end of that chapter. Mm. It's time for a new chapter. Have you had moments where you felt like that fire has gone out? Absolutely. I, I can remember, funny enough, it was 5FM. Um, yeah. I love, I love Roger Good uh, and I had fun. Obviously, with Gareth in the mornings, we had eight years of being the biggest breakfast show in the country. Mm. Um and it just got to a point where I needed change. Mm. And I hadn't lost the appetite for radio. Uh, and I had a few offers, funny enough, to mm. go into radio straight after that. 
but I chose to pursue TV at the time because I just thought that was the next chapter. Yes. It was an international Weren't you busy gig. with the Chinese? I'm still busy with... <laughs> with CGTN. I mean, I was covering world yes. table tennis. No, that's amazing. Championships in Durban. I remember. I remember it very so, clearly. So it, it's got, I've got the worst memory, but it's funny how I remember everything about you. You even gave me, uh, for my birthday, you gave me some fragrance. That, that, was, that yes. was, that's awesome. Yes. I appreciate that. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is there comes a time where the fire goes out for one project. Mm. And it's not meant that there's disrespect or anything. It just means you need to close that door and yeah. move into the next one. And I think that's where I've been very fortunate that the decisions I've made have been ones that have paid off. I'm not by any chance saying that's a multimillionaire decisions, but they've been ones that have sat well with me mm. and my gut. And I've felt the energy and that's to what pursue it is. the next one. That's what and it I is. I think I see that in yeah. you. It's listening to your gut. Yeah. I mean, even moving from YFM to 5FM, um, I was at the time at Y doing like a weekend slot. I'd been offered um, a weekday slot, like a 9 to 12 to host and anchor. Five then came along with the offer to do traffic on Roger Good's show. Uh, anyone else looking, I remember everyone laughing at me like, are you stupid? Well, you're going to do that, the, exactly. Like, why would you take a traffic gig over your own show? And for me, my gut... Yeah said that's where you need to go and that's what I followed so it's it's silencing the noise around you and listening to that inner voice that guides you and tells you where you need to be and your gut's paid off yeah. look where you are now that's a good gut absolutely <laughs> good, good gut health <laughs> so, so tell me um, what do you do to relax these days where do you where do you disconnect from the world? Because to be plugged in the whole time is exhausting. It is. It is. I'm learning to unplug. I'm learning to just even in my 24 hours, I, I'm like ants in my pants. So like if I'm not working, I, I find work or, or like create work. So I'm learning to like just stop. Yeah. Like stop it. Close the laptop. You're like you don't. It starts like, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm learning to close the laptop. Uh, I mean, the other day I was watching TV in the middle of the day. <gasps> Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm watching TV in the middle of the day. Um, what are you watching these days? Um, I watch all sorts of things. I love Cod Blanche. Okay. Which, wow, yeah. quite mature of you. I know, right? Very mature. <laughs> like, serious I, uh, citizen yeah, yeah. mature. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was like, what's going on, Tando? Jesus. <laughs> um, but I enjoy Cod Blanche. Okay. Um, I enjoy series. Yeah. Um, Is there a series that maybe, like... Um, inspired you a little bit you know i'm not because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff around documentary storytelling yeah. and that will for me will forever be there but sometimes you need to disconnect and watch something where aliens are kicking the crap out of aliens yeah so, you know what i'm trying to say i mean i enjoy like your how to get away with murders i heard that's excellent I yeah you haven't watched how to no. get <gasps> yeah so that's good easy I, now I, cop I, I like <laughs> <laughs> You're right, touche. Um, I don't know. I enjoy thrillers. I enjoy um, female-led stories as yeah. well. Your like your big little lies. Oh, yeah, very good. Um, yeah, because uh, the reason I'm asking is someone who's an actor who knows what it takes to perform in a role. Mm. Do you watch TV differently or series differently or sometimes knowing yes. what's going on behind the scenes? Yes. Like there's 50 people behind the scene. Yes. you know. Yeah, sometimes like you like you can see when like a mistake was made or the edit was a little bit weird, <laughs> um, which sometimes suck because it's like <laughs> just watch the flipping show like a normal person. Yeah. So absolutely, you pick up on on little things. Is there a dream project Tanda would like to do? I mean, obviously you're so immensely talented, but you know you've seen a lot of South Africans. Not a lot, but there's been a few South African stars that have broken out and done. Like Trevor, for example, yes. in the US. Is that something that appeals to you? 100%. I mean, I've got an agent LA, in the US. We're it, trying to work it out. Yeah, I'm saying, we, we're, trying, you know, we're making this international. So would that be a move you would look at one day? Um, I don't know goodbye. if it would be a permanent move. Sure. Um, definitely to work, come back, work. I feel, I feel like you can be a global citizen. Like Absolutely. You can live and work wherever in the world. We've got talent here, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, it's about... Um, nurturing the talent that is here and I feel like yeah. it hasn't been exploited to its full potential there is a story um, I'm working on okay. that's been greenlit by a, a big streamer Fantastic. for um, yeah uh, uh, yeah, an original concept Brilliant. that will shoot in a beautiful part of South Africa for the world to see I'll carry drinks if you want sure yeah put sunscreen water boy yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> but that's exciting yeah that is the really fact exciting. is that 
and, and I know that there are big streamers out there and setting up in Cape Town, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah. But they're starting to recognize the value of the stories that are coming out of not only South Africa, but Africa, and that it's stories for the world. Correct. And there's so many different stories to yeah. be told. Um, sometimes we, we're telling the same story over and over and over again. It's yeah. like there's so much to tell and we're not we're not exploring it to its uh, full potential. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, while we we're chatting about this creative space, you hit the nail on the head there for me about nurturing talent. As someone who knows what it takes and the dedication and sacrifice to get to where you are today, how do we sort of, as people who have established ourselves in this space, mm. give back in a way? And I know give back is such a cliche, but like there might be a young girl who's sitting in grade 11 going, I would love to be like Tundra one day. Yeah. How do I go about this? There's almost a responsibility to be able to say, here's some advice or how do we create that pipeline because it is about bringing through the next Correct. talent and it's not just relying on tiktok yeah and social media to yeah, find yeah. talent that i think first it's, it's it's mindsets right yeah. so in conversations like this um are, are very important because people can see what it's taken yeah. and that it doesn't happen overnight in as much as it may seem like it does i think it's also as this generation of entertainers creating bigger and better mm. so that generations that follow have more opportunities than we, I said like I'm so old, than we, no, but we I mean, had. You, <laughs> I mean, you, but you know you're turning I mean. 29 in a few days' you're right. time. You know what I mean? You, you know, it's, it's so like stressful. That's, you've been in the industry yeah, yeah. like nine years. <laughs> But, but it is. It's it's, it's creating yeah. those platforms. It's it's making the circle bigger. Yeah. It's um, creating more opportunities for people to tell their stories, for people's talents to be found. Um, but it's also the responsibility of you know people like you and I to have these conversations mm -hmm. so people can see. Oh, wait a minute! I thought I can just post a TikTok and look cute and then get a exactly. job. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I think that's. It's also important that people realize that not everyone can be a tando. Not everyone can be the Robert Tanelles, Trevors. Sometimes those roles are behind the scenes. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? And content creators aren't people who stand in front of camera. No. Always. And I think the sooner people realize that, because there there is a huge sort of mindset that I need to be front and center in front of camera, yeah. presenting, being entertaining. You can do that from behind the scenes. Also, don't don't fake it. I think it's an innate ability. Mm. That cannot be faked. It cannot be... Um, you can't just put it on. It's yeah. either you are or you aren't. Absolutely. And just because you're in love with a space, like you say, it doesn't mean you have to be front and center. You can be the guy. You can make more money <laughs> than Absolutely. the guy in front of the camera. And have a lot of fun. Yes. And not be putting makeup on and Correct. <laughs> or be spoken about. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does it drive you crazy sometimes when people do speak about you like this when they don't know what's actually going on yeah i mean some of the stuff you read and people don't realize you read the stuff mm. you read it like i've, I've seen all sorts of things like do I'm people like, send you like did you see this like, yes which is my worst so i'm like it's fine like people on twitter or whatever i don't know them yeah if you're on my whatsapp and you're sending me screen grabs <laughs> why are you doing that don't do that you're poking the bear here. Yeah, yeah it's like you're trying to get a reaction out of me what are you doing are you my friend or what so how do you react Oh, I tell them to. Are you I'm not scared? Tell them to stuff it. You can be a little Miss Feisty at times. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like you need to set boundaries, yeah. and people need to understand. And and maybe they're not being malicious. Sure. Uh, well, no, they are being malicious, but maybe they mean no harm, or they. You just don't know how someone has taken something, so allow them the opportunity to deal with it. Uh, if you think it's a joke which maybe you genuinely think it is, and yeah. maybe you think that person is laughing, consider that that person may not be laughing. Absolutely. As an A-list celeb in South Africa, um, I look at the way you portray yourself out in the, in the, the media, in, in, in your daily life, and I, and I look like there's a lot of people who look up to you and like want that access, you know? Uh, they want to have a photo with you does that ever get tired? And I don't mean, I'm what I'm trying to say is like that constant attention. Mm. Like I've, I've never experienced on the level that you or the, the, the A-listers experience on, but is there time where you're like, Oh my word, enough's enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
And no. Anne- Annelie talks about Mother's Day being the day that she doesn't want to do anything or have anything to do with the world. Mm. But for you as someone in your space now, energy, um, being this sort of person who brings joy, makes people smile in the afternoons, is there ever a time when you're like, okay, enough's enough. I need to just step back a little bit. I think a lot of the time, unless it's a working engagement, like if I know I'm going to go speak somewhere, I, I know that, you know, there'll be photo ops yeah. or whatever. So you sort of, you know, switch that on in your mind. Personally, I don't in my everyday life yes. switch it on in my mind, but it does happen. Uh, and it's all love. Yeah. Um, I, 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 like I always say, maybe the per- in that person's mind, they'll never see you again. Absolutely. Um, so again, kindness. And I mean, I don't get it right all the time, but I try to most of the time. And the reason I ask is because for a lot of people, it affects their mental health. Yeah. Um, and mental health is something that we don't talk enough about in South Africa because it's still... For a lot of people, I just shut up, man. It doesn't matter. It's a disease. You know what I'm trying to say? And that stigma needs to change. But I'm just saying, like, because you are who you are, you still have to have strong will. I mean, even you know what I'm trying to say? Even in the radio space, think about it. Like, it doesn't matter what's happening in your life personally. As soon as you switch on that mic, everything is hunky dory. Yeah. Which is not always the case. Um, And it it goes, it's the same as it's hard on you as an individual to, to sort of you know, deal with that. I've had moments literally on A where we're talking about something jovial. I get a message about something horrible, which of course changes your entire mood. I've had moments where I literally go from crying to... That's mad. um, Yeah. That's mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not healthy. No. It's not healthy. But I think it just shows your character, your professionalism. Yeah. Because during that space of the show, your listener is king. Yes, 100%. My, uh, my job is to make you happy. Yeah. And so when you come down from that high, when mm. you switch the button and it's... But what there, a beautiful job and what a beautiful still. blessing, right? It's because the world is such a, a, a dark place right now. Oh, man. Um, I mean, do you mean with ESCOM? <laughs> That's a... <laughs> I, have to keep your <laughs> I see nothing's Sorry, changed. We don't mean, but, yeah. Um, but the fact of the matter is people are, are hurting out there. Yeah. People are suffering. They're trying to make ends meet. Yeah. They switch on the radio or they see you on the TV show and they're like, yes, they need that. What a blessing. That's cool. What a blessing. Your job is to make people smile. That's exactly. Uh, right. and, I, and you're doing a tremendous job. Thank you. Yes. Keep doing it every thank day. You. I'm so proud. Um, and I'm so chuffed for you. And I thank really you. hope that whatever comes from now is just bigger and better because you've done such an incredible job. Tana. Appreciate us. Yes. Thanks thank for you coming for having in. me. Thank, congratulations. No, well, hey, as I say, thank you for sharing the this. The show. Come on. There we go. I love it. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you.